Well, howdy do, y'all. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> I've got the brew kettle, Old 21. I'm drinking this one courtesy. Oh, mercy. Uh, uh, Dave Coulter from Beer Sampling with Dave. Um, I've had this once before, a couple years ago. Stuart and I, Stuart Picard and I, uh, split a bottle. Um, Tom Shipman from uh, Beer Drinkers United sent us some beers when he was visiting here from uh, England. So I uh, split a bottle with him, but when Dave mentioned doing a beer tray, this was one that I wanted him to send, even though I'd had it before. I wanted to have it again, and, uh, you know, I wanted a full bottle to myself. So, uh, the aromas, uh, my, uh, I, I saw my original video, and I just loved it. I just remember just thinking it was just one of the best that I had at the time. And the, um, the aromas sure are reminiscent of that. Um, they say on the bottle here, um, Big Bold Imperial IPA, the clean malt plays supporting role to the straight up Simcoe hops through and through that give this varietal hop bomb its bang. 9%, 90 IBUs, it's a big one, so let's say we take a drink. Uh, enough talking, Tom, drink the damn beer, man, I can't, I'm getting a glare on my screen, I can't see where my, so I usually have my props in a certain spot, but I can't see shit on my screen at the moment. Oh, yeah, babe. That's what Dad and like. Uh, wow. I, I love to speak. <laughs> I do. Um, it's not, I, I probably, I, uh, for me, I'm going to say it's a medium malt body on it. Some might say medium to heavy, but I'm going to say straight medium. It's lighter than you would think. Uh, it's, it's fairly light for an Imperial IPA, the malt body is anyway. But like the bottle says, I mean, the, the hops are just straight up in your face, man. They are there, baby, there. Oh, wow, this one is beautiful. I'm not going to yak too much, to be honest with you, because I just want to sit back and enjoy this. But I did want to do a quick video to say thanks to Dave for sending it to me. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that's what I remember. I just remember thinking at the time, damn, I wish I had a whole one of these. <laughs> so, but, wow. I get just a touch, just, I mean, just a little bit of sweetness on the nose. Before I get to, before I get to the hospital, you get just a little sweetness, and you do feel a little bit of that sweet malt. But, yeah, wow, but, but the malt is a second fiddle in a beer like this. It's meant to be. Uh, those hops, uh, I mean, this type of beer... Uh, is the, the the hoppage, uh, as I say, is, is is meant to be right up and in your face, which is what it says on the bottle there. Well, I'm paraphrasing, but more or less that's what they're saying. That this, I mean, the hops are the star here. Uh, there's no doubt about it. And yeah, they are huge on your palate. They do linger. Uh, I probably won't be able to have another beer for about an hour until, until my palate recovers. It's beautiful. I love this beer. So uh, if if uh, if you haven't had this. Any beer geek that hasn't had this, this needs to be on your must-try Imperial IPA. And if you've already had it, it really ought to be uh, on the list as one of your best. Or there's something seriously wrong with your taste buds. I'm Dr. Beer Whisperer. Thanks, man. Uh, thanks, Dave, for sending me this beer. Wow.